Hello friends, I am Dr. Arun B. Nair, Consultant Psychiatrist from Trivandrum, Kerala. Schizophrenia is a psychotic disorder which is characterized by lack of touch with reality. Many people with schizophrenia exhibit very bizarre behavior including suspicions, fears, lack of sleep and abnormal thought process. Many people are doubtful whether this condition is treatable. They think that it's the result of some witchcraft, the work of some supernatural powers. They don't realize that it can be effectively controlled by proper treatment. Schizophrenia is a disorder which is characterized by positive symptoms, negative symptoms and cognitive symptoms mainly. The positive symptoms of schizophrenia include delusions and hallucinations mainly. What is a delusion? A delusion is a false, fixed, unshakable belief which is persisting even after providing evidence that it is wrong and it is out of keeping with the person's cultural and educational background. For example, persecutory delusion. People with schizophrenia may think that somebody is out to kill them even though it's not a reality. Some of them may think that their thought processes, which are in fact very private, that is known to others. People on the road, people in the neighborhood are knowing their very private thought processes. This is called thought broadcast. They may think that people on the road are making fun of them, spreading rumors about them. That is called delusion of reference. So a variety of delusions are possible in schizophrenia. The second positive symptom is hallucination. Hallucination means perception without stimulus. The commonest hallucination in schizophrenia is auditory hallucination. You hear voices which don't exist. Often you may hear two or more voices discussing about you in third person or a voice which may be giving a running commentary about all of your activities, the running commentary hallucination. The reason for these delusions and hallucinations is an increase in the level of a neurotransmitter called dopamine in a particular tract of the brain called mesolimbic dopamine tract. Some people with schizophrenia may have negative symptoms. Negative symptoms include lack of attention, inability to do a voluntary act, inability to find happiness in anything, lack of emotions, Lack of ability to express emotions, reduced speech and reduced interest in social interactions. The reason for these negative symptoms is a reduced level of dopamine in another part of the brain called mesocortical dopamine tract. Understand that schizophrenia can be easily treated. We have got medicines which modulate the level of dopamine in the brain. They are known as dopamine antagonists or antipsychotics. If antipsychotics are given in the proper dose for the proper duration of time, schizophrenia can be very effectively controlled. What are the consequences of not treating schizophrenia? The early name attributed to schizophrenia was dementia precox, meaning forgetfulness and memory impairment which happens at a young age. In the early days when schizophrenia was untreated, when no treatment was available, people with this illness used to deteriorate their higher mental functions including memory, concentration, analytical ability all used to reduce in due course of time and at a very young age itself they used to become demented, unable to recollect anybody, unable to recollect anything at all. So that is the consequence of untreated schizophrenia. But if we treat schizophrenia at the beginning itself, it can be very effectively controlled. We can stop medicines also in one third of the population, but in another 50 percentage, we may have to continue medicines for a long period of time, at least one medicine. But we can improve the quality of life. We can ensure that the person is able to work productively. We can ensure that the person can get married and lead a normal family life. So the key messages we have to identify schizophrenia take him to a psychiatrist at the earliest and ensure proper treatment thank you